trying to liven it up with some concepts. That I don't know because I haven't seen it. Okay. I'm ashamed to say, but I think it's a good idea. But I just haven't done something. How'd you, can we just get your reaction a little bit? Because we wanted to just get people's reaction on camera. Well, I'm very fond of the park. That's I, great. It's wonderful right in the city. Yeah. It really yeah. is. Yeah. My room in the Horizon House overlooks it. I'm very, very happy. Oh, that's great. Well, I'd love to just ask you about that, and then just like when you feel safe, when you don't test feel us, safe, what you like about it, what you don't. Uh, I wouldn't come in here in the, at night at all. Okay. You know. It's just people sleeping see, here. I was going to say you see a lot of people that are pretty down and out. Right. Right. And that makes me sad. But right. I try to contribute to things that I think might help them, but I don't. I don't feel safe. About it. Right. This old lady like me. <laughs> no, I can, I can see. Do you, uh, how long have you been in Horizon House? Okay. So then that's, ever since then, that's when you've been using the park. Yeah. Do you want to get a quick thing here, David? Yeah. Are you? Oh, your mic? Okay. turn up my mic? Yeah. All right, this one's on. Am I going to say any of this stuff over and touch what's this? Yeah, you're great, though. Um, let me turn my mic on. I think you can hear you can hear this mic. Yeah, and then okay. I can hear yours too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let me hear you talk to you. I just hear your volume. Uh, just my volume. Yeah, just my okay, just my mic. This yeah. is my mic. This is me. Okay. Okay. You can you can watch yourself on TV. Because this. Will, do you? Oh, you don't have cable. Okay. Yes. I you do. I just I don't watch. Uh, okay. What are you saying? How do you like Freeway Park? I'm very very fond of it. I really love having a park like this in the middle of the city. I really do. How often do you come through here? Every day, at least once and sometimes twice. And do you feel safe? I feel safe, except I wouldn't come here at night. I wouldn't even, I don't think I'd even come if I was with somebody else. I just wouldn't feel safe here at night. I'm a little old lady and very vulnerable, and I just wouldn't come at night. But today I come through every day. What's the problem at night? Just too dark? I to don't know. It's dark. You know, there's just, there's an awful lot of cubby holes around here, you know. There's just so many places where people can hide or, and whatever they do, I don't know. You see people who are very vulnerable and are very, you know, are hard up and bad off and I just don't feel comfortable. I try to do what I can to help those people, but not in an active way. But, so staying out of here at night is a good solution? For me it is. You know, because I love to come through here in the daytime, and I do it all the time. But not at night. Not at night. And I have a volunteer job now over in the International District, and I used to come home and come through here. I don't get over here until 5 o'clock, and I come up the other way, a different bus, because I just wouldn't walk through at night. But other than that, I love the park. Mm -hmm. I can see it all the time, and it's just great. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, do you want me to uh, just get a second of this?
try it? Okay. Ready? The downtown park problem is so bad that the mayor recently convened a task force to brainstorm just what to do. The draft report is just out. The most notable recommendation, establish a team of park rangers. Try it again. The downtown park problem is so bad that the mayor recently convened a task force to brainstorm just what to do. And the draft report is now out. Its most notable recommendation, establish a team of park rangers. Let's try it a few more times just because okay. I'm going to do a couple okay. things. Okay. Okay. Um, actually, sorry, let me, let me do something like this. Okay. Okay. The downtown park problem is so bad that the mayor recently established a task force to brainstorm just what to do. And their draft report is now out. The most notable recommendation, establish a team of park rangers. Do that one more time. The downtown park problem is so bad that the mayor recently convened a task force to brainstorm just what to do. And its draft report is now out. The most notable recommendation, establish a team of park rangers. Let's just do it one more time. I'm sorry, I, I didn't zoom okay. up fast enough. Okay. Um, sorry, can we do okay, it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. The downtown park problem is so bad that the mayor recently established a task force to dream up just what can be done. And their draft recommendations are now out. The most notable, establish a team of park rangers. Okay, I think from those we have some. Okay, can I just see it? Or that's all right, I don't need to see it. from this perspective and then pan because now these guys will be out of the picture. One more when the spike comes through. Yeah, now there's... 
Wait, there's a guy here. That's all right. Go ahead. County Courthouse. It's notorious for its problems, especially at night. Indeed, it's one of downtown's most uninviting open spaces. The fence, the task force argues, will help establish some order. Should we try it? Yeah. Maybe I'll just keep the okay. Put those buses. One part that may get a fence is this space just outside the King County Courthouse. It's notorious for its problems, especially at night. Indeed, it's one of downtown's most uninviting open spaces. A fence, the task force argues, will help establish some order. Can we try again? One park that may get a fence is this space just outside the King County Courthouse. It's notorious for its problems, especially at night. Indeed, it's one of downtown's most uninviting open spaces. A fence, the task force argues, will help establish some order. One park that may get a fence is this space just outside the King County Courthouse. It's notorious for its problems, especially at night. Indeed, it's one of downtown's most uninviting public spaces. A fence, the task force argues, will help establish some control. And so just
The park ranger. Finally, it's showing up. I think it defeated. Uh, Needed something. Okay. A lot more pre-roll. Let's do a sound check. Budget time at City Hall. A few weeks back, the mayor presented to council members his fiscal blueprint for 2007. Times are good, he says. Indeed, Nichols is proposing a healthy increase in city spending. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Here it is. This is the real thing. Three, two, one. Budget time at City Hall. <clears throat> One more time. Three, two, one. Budget time at City Hall. A few weeks back, the mayor presented to council members his fiscal blueprint for 2007. Times are good, he says. Indeed, Nichols is proposing a healthy increase in city spending. Just how healthy? Well, here's the situation with the budget. This year, the city will spend $769 million from its general fund. Next year, the mayor proposes a budget of $842 million, a nearly 10% increase. Is that all right? Yeah. And you I, can take the other one. I'm probably going to use just the well from that. Let's, let's just get You're going to just one. use the well? Yeah, because I have everything signed out. Okay. Are you ready for the last one? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. No doubt other citizens will have other ideas about what to include in Seattle's budget, and so will members of the City Council, where the spending plan is now being reviewed. Okay. Okay. See how that works. This will be around to provide friendly information to park patrons. One more time. The park... The park rangers would be uniformed but unarmed, similar to the ambassadors that now roam downtown streets, a set of eyes and ears that could alert police if need be, but who otherwise would be around to provide friendly information to park patrons. Another recommendation for some of, another recommendation for some of Seattle's parks? There's another problem the task force calls out. What kinds of programming? What? Okay. There's another problem the task force calls out. What kinds of programming? Oh, on the what kinds? I'm going to do what kinds, and then I'm going to do a separate one that says what kinds of programming. What kinds of programming? What kinds? No doubt advocates for the homeless will feel threatened by many of the recommendations. They are sensitive to anything that seems aimed at driving them out of public spaces. One more time. No doubt advocates for the homeless will feel threatened by rent. No doubt advocates for the homeless will feel threatened by many of the recommendations. They're sensitive to anything that seems aimed at driving them out of public spaces. Driving the less fortunate out of public spaces. No doubt, no doubt advocates for the homeless will feel threatened by many of the recommendations. They're sensitive to anything that seems aimed at driving them out of public spaces.